continuing with our series on Caden Live again. Be sure to check out the link in the description for the full playlist, and I recommend watching the previous videos. Today we're going to be looking at blue screens, or chroma keying, or green screen, or whatever color you want to use. Now, uh, also in the link, in, links in the description to two YouTube videos uploaded, which are some example videos, these renders out I did in Blender. Uh, so, and I uploaded them already and downloaded them, so I'm working with the same copies you are to make sure the quality is the same, because, you know, when you're cutting out colors, if the colors are degraded because of compression, it might look different. Now, uh, in a future video, I'm going to actually get in front of a green screen myself. Today we're going to be working with perfect backgrounds. Uh, I rendered out these, these video clips, there are two second clips of a monkey head spinning around in Blender. First off, Blender does a better job of chroma keying than Caden Live. If you ask me, it has more functionality. I've done videos on it in the past. I might do a updated video soon. Um, but uh, if I drag like this one, for example, down, I have this monkey head here, and it's spinning around on a blue background. And it is a perfect blue background, except for maybe some of the compression around the monkey. You might actually see a little bit of the blue, but we'll talk about that when we get to it. When you're standing in front of a blue screen, you know, if you have high quality lighting in a studio with a, with a, a backdrop, you might be able to get, you know, close to this. Me, you know, I have a few blue screens and green screens that hang on curtain rods and stuff like that, and I have some decent lighting, but you don't get a perfect background. That's why in a future video, I'll get in front of a green screen myself and do another video. But this is, lots of times you can get stock footage of stuff, and it will have a perfect background like this. So let me drag down, this is a little clip of me pretending to hold the monkey head. Now also, Caden Live, uh, as far as I know, doesn't have any motion tracking options. So uh, we're gonna place this monkey manually, and you can set keyframes if you want to move it around, but if you want motion tracking, uh, you're gonna wanna again use Blender. But let's go ahead, and I have the monkey here, and there we go, it's there. And what we need to do first is we're going to come up here to our effects. I'm going to type in chroma, and we have a few options here, but we're going to choose this one that says chroma key under alpha manipulation, and I'm going to add that there. Right anyway, you can see our background has now become somewhat translucent. It's kind of bluish, though, and that's because we haven't added a composite layer. Anytime you're working with anything that says alpha, and this is under the alpha manipulation section, you're going to want to add a composite. So click the bottom corner of the screen. We've done this a number of times in previous videos. It will give you a dissolve effect. Stretch it out to the full length of your clip, and then change that so it says composite. There is our monkey head. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it in this YouTube uh, clip, but there is slight blue just because the colors mix with video compression here. So, and again, I uploaded this to YouTube and downloaded it, so it's a you know fairly well compressed. But that's okay. We can turn up the variance on here until that's gone. Uh, there's no feathering effect in this option here, which you might get in other things, and no color spill. Uh, option uh, in this effect. There are other options, you, effects you can add, but for right now we're just going to do a chroma key, turn out the variance, and there is our monkey head spinning around. But we want it to be over my hand there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose our composite layer here, and I'm going to go back to our first frame here, and I'm going to drag that monkey head where I want it. Now again, I can add, because obviously my hand's going to be moving around a bit, I can add multiple keyframes so it tracks. It doesn't really track it, but I manually track it. I'm not going to go into that detail. You can do that yourself. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that clip a few times, drag our composite layer over, and there we go. We have our monkey head spinning multiple times uh, by my hand there. Again, not perfect. You want to move it around so it fits on my hand better. And in fact, uh, since most of it seems to be up a little higher, I'm going to move it up a little higher. So there we go. So that's very basic. Let's look into, and, and default color was blue. Uh, blue or green tend to be your default colors when doing something like this. Blue uh, was originally chosen because it's on the opposite color of the, opposite end of the color spectrum from people's skin, which tends to have a reddish tinge to it in, in many cases, although people come in all different colors. Um, and nowadays, green seems to be used more. There is technical reasons for that, but it doesn't really matter too much as long as you're using a color that isn't in the rest of the image. Here is an example. I rendered out the same video clip, but with an orange background, and I made the monkey head red. So they're almost, you know, very similar colors, but they're still different enough that I can do this effect. You notice that when I drag it here, the, the offset that we did was done with a composite layer, and we're still using the composite layer, so even though I brought in a new video here, it's still going to be lined up the same as before. But I'm going to choose that clip and choose chroma key again. And this time I'm going to choose the color I want and choose pick screen color and click on the color there. 
And when I click OK, boop, it removed our background. Now, another thing we can do, let's say I wanted to, and also, you know, I, 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 should, I think I mentioned this earlier, I rendered this out in, in Blender. Not only does Blender do better chroma keying, but since I rendered that monkey out in Blender, uh, I don't even have to do any chroma keying. I could just automatically superpose it. So that's another reason. But again, this is an example as if you had stock footage. Um, what I can do here is I can choose that clip, come up here to my effects, and if I wanted to change the color of the monkey head in this case, since it's kind of a, a solid color there, I can choose its hue and I can adjust its hue to make it all different, you know, whatever color I want. So I can make it green. But I'm telling you this just to give you um, another warning that I've mentioned in the past. The order you add effects affects your effects. So I changed the hue, which changed what our monkey head looks like. But if I put that, and I put that after our chroma key, if I put it before our chroma key, all of a sudden our background has changed color because with it after, we're removing the background based on color and then changing the colors, where if I do this, we're changing the color and then removing it, where now our chroma key is looking for a color that doesn't exist anymore. And I could probably pick a color. Yeah, and it does it. But now we have some hue effects there where I'm actually seeing through the monkey head. So control Z, control Z to undo that. So just be conscious of the order you place your effects. Um, but I wanted to show you just that you could do whatever color you want. And that is the end of this tutorial. I'll be sure to put a rendered copy of this at the end of this tutorial. If you like this video, be sure to check out the full playlist and subscribe so you don't miss any. If you like all my videos in general, think about um, becoming a, subscriber, a, a supporter over at patreon.com forward slash middlex1000. There's a link to that in the description. Also remember there's links to these example monkey head clips in the uh, video. They're up on YouTube, so you just pull them off of there. Um, also, if you can't support me on Patreon uh, or through, um, what you call it, what you call it, what you call it, PayPal, which you can access on my website, filmsidechris.com under support, um, think about just sharing, liking, subscribing. That helps out a lot. Be sure to check out the rest of my videos. And as always, I hope that you have a great day. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's a monkey head. Yeah. Ooh, spinning around, spinning around.